I'm Brad Sherman. I'm applying for the cruise and travel director position and I would like to talk about Iceland. Iceland is a volcanic island. It has dramatic and majestic, expansive, wild terrain. It's mostly untouched by people and industry. The main industry there is geothermal and 50% of the people that live there still believe in the Huldefolk, the hidden people. I decided to travel there with my sister in 2014 because we had never been traveling internationally together before and we were drawn to the cultural aspect, me specifically the musical aspect, the music I had been listening to for at least 20 years prior. And being a musician, a performer who uh, played in front of tens of thousands of people. I was particularly drawn to Iceland and never realized how influenced the music was by the expansive terrain. So I get truly excited by music and when I hear composers, classical composers, or rock musicians that are working in a classical context, I get really fired up. So Iceland has it all in that regard. Uh, I traveled with my sister, Dina, over there. We had never traveled internationally together, and I always think that it's better to travel with the people that you love. Uh, I've inspired that kind of travel for my daughter as well. Uh, when she was growing up, we traveled every winter, every summer to someplace new and exciting to get that bug planted firmly within her. The first place that I traveled with my sister was to a town called Hafnarfjörður. Said it right the first time. Um, which, unbeknownst to us, was a prominent elven town where as I mentioned before, 50% of the people in Iceland believe in the Huldefolk, the hidden people, which reside between the rocks. Uh, and it's this popular mythology, which includes elves, fairies, mermaids, pixies, sprites, and leprechauns. After our first town, we traveled south, rented a car, and saw all the beautiful sights along the way and stopped everywhere. There were incredible waterfalls, there were geysers, there basically this was all leading us to Europe's largest glacier, uh, the name I cannot pronounce. Um, we put our crampons on and we hiked on the glacier with a group of people. I'd say that was the highlight of our trip followed by a tour of the icebergs. We got a, a dinghy and traveled through the water all around these ice, perfect blue icebergs that were floating all around us. Other sites that we experienced was whale watching, where we were fortunate enough to run into some orcas saw some puffins and some fluffy Icelandic horses. Fluffy, I say, because their manes and their tails and the, the fur at their hooves seems very, very different than ours on land here, US. Um, I wouldn't be a vacation without talking about the food of the culture. Traditional Viking food inclu included a lot of fish and seafood um, and we indulged thoroughly in it. One of the main reasons for traveling to Iceland was to attend a festival called ATP or All Tomorrow's Party. It featured all sorts of prominent Icelandic artists from classical to industrial um, it also had international artists come in as headliners to drive sales. And um, 
It took place on a military base, a U.S. military base in Iceland that was established around World War II, and it's still in operation today, used by NATO. One of our final destinations, and one of the most exciting as well, was a place called Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon is a mineral-rich pool, massive pool, that is set against craggly lava rock with geothermal plants in the background. So it's the off water from the geothermal plants, which is very clean and healthy water, and it, the minerals are silica, which people put onto their face for a little spa treatment, as well as um, you could get spa treatments and massages right in the water. You could even um, swim up to a bar in the middle and get fresh juices, which was very, very fun. But just to spend time in these creamy blue waters for a couple hours was unlike anything I'd ever experienced, and it drives business from around the world to people traveling there to experience it. Blue Lagoon was an amazing last stop on our trip. We were happy that we traveled there during the summer months. Uh, I think it was a bit more tolerable in uh, basic weather conditions, but in the winter there are amazing things to experience as well. And I would especially like to go back to experience the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. I don't believe that this vacation needs a conclusion. Uh, if you are interested in a majestic, mythical, magical vacation, I think Iceland has it all. Thank you for listening to me talk about my personal experience, and I will conclude by telling you why I think that I would be the perfect choice for this position. So I, I believe that I would be a really great choice for this position because I caught the travel bug early in my life and I've traveled many places with my family. Working in the hospitality industry and being a drummer, I've dealt with hundreds and thousands of people constantly to make them feel comfortable, to educate them about what they're about to experience, and create community and, and have a warm connection with people that makes, I believe, that makes them feel happier and, and more connected and more loved when they're going through their experience. Um, I can't think of a better job than sharing that passion that I have with others. Uh, I've spent the better part of my life doing this, and uh, I highly value and find joy through these connections. Uh, I genuinely hope that I am considered for this position and get the opportunity to, pr to present this information uh, with more tools at my disposal next time. As you can tell, this uh, choppy presentation was uh, a couple days old and I'm sure that I can do much better with tools that are provided. And uh, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it and uh, be talking with you soon. Thank you.